Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. It's gorgeous outside. The sun is shining. It's like this beautiful winter day today. So that is awesome, right? And happy new year. Oh my gosh, we survived another new year. Hi, Wendy. Hello, how are you? Happy new year. Um, yeah, I was just saying that like, oh my gosh, the holidays, right? I like, what day of the week is it? We're still in that like, feels like it should be about a Tuesday or a Wednesday, I think. So anyway, but I'm kind of glad it's Friday, right? The weekend, it kind of feels like we've had lots of weekends lately. So hi, Sandra, how are you? Good morning, welcome, and happy new year to you as well. Thank you. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, and yesterday, hi, Bonnie, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so glad you can join us too. How are you doing? Um, happy new year to you too. So yeah, let's see um, what is going on. Celebration started just yesterday. Hopefully you guys have been able to take advantage of the freebies. So you get a 50, or, well, when you spend $50, you get to get a free celebration item, or there are a couple of like what I call Mac Daddy items, like the framelits, those, can't remember what they're called, but the, um, the tea framelits. Anyway, um, those, if you spend $100, you can get those for free. So yeah, lots of good stuff. So hopefully if you haven't had a chance to take advantage, make sure that you do. I'll give you the host code in a little while um, so you don't miss out on all the other good freebie stuff with your online order. And let's see, oh my gosh, so I'm kind of like running around like crazy. Uh, keep changing your mind on what to order, Wendy. I know, I went through the catalog yesterday too and was trying to, I've gotten a few things. Hi, Tammy, well, good morning, welcome. I'm glad you can join us. We're just talking about celebration and like what are we gonna, trying to decide what to order, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, but yeah, whatever you order, just make sure you get to $50 so you can get that free celebration item now through March 31st. So this is like the most wonderful time of the year in terms of stamping up and getting fun free stuff from them right so oh yeah I was saying as always right I feel like I'm always running around like a crazy woman so this time hi Nikki how are you um, Lily has a dance convention down in Lansing this weekend so we are leaving later on this afternoon um, when they get out of school my sister and I are taking our girls down to this convention and they're basically dancing all weekend long. Like for example, they have a competition portion um, of the event tomorrow night and awards are at midnight tomorrow night. And then Sunday morning, I think they have to be back to dance at like 7.30 in the morning. So it is like nuttiness. The moms kind of hang out and watch and try to keep ourselves entertained while <laughs> the girls are working really, really hard. So, but it's fun. Um, it's, you know, it's like a fun weekend to kind of hang out with the girls in between their dancing time. Hi, Philomena. Hi, Angeline. Oh my gosh, I have so many people on this morning. I love this. I know lots of people can't generally watch on Friday. So yay, I'm so glad everybody's here. But yeah, so anyway, my wheels are already turning about, oh, I haven't even packed yet. So I got to get that all figured out. But that's after Facebook Live. So yeah. Um, Okay, so let's see. Why don't we, let's jump right in. I've got names in the drawing. Oh, that's right. What are we going to draw for? So do you guys remember last week? These are, there's a glare because of that sun. I apologize. These are the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. They come, and I figured out the colors after I was struggling last week. Some of them are, are in colors. So there's Pineapple Punch, the yellow, and then this is Night of Navy, Lovely lipstick. This is Calypso Coral. I think I call that Grapefruit Grove, and that is Call Me Clover. So some of them are, are new in colors, and then the Night of Navy, I think I thought was the Blueberry Bushel, um, and then the Calypso Coral is not Grapefruit Grove. But I think both of those could honestly kind of go either way if you need them to. So anyway, this is what we are drawing for. The little super cute. They've got the little um, blue dot behind them, so use your Take Your Pick tool, and it makes it nice and easy. Um, Sorry, I feel like the, I don't know, is that going to drive everybody crazy if I try it? I was going to, I feel like it's up a little bit high today. Sorry, I might, I might have had it adjusted funny, so I don't know if that helped or not at all, but I tried to put it down a little bit. You don't really care about seeing me anyway, <laughs> I'm sure. Like, you want to see, like, the ceiling and my walls and stuff, right? Okay, so here we go. One entry for commenting. Three entries if you share the Facebook Live video. Another three entries if you sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. And then what else? Oh, you get three more entries. I picked um, one random day from last week. So Tuesday was the pick again. So January 1st, Tuesday. Any post that I did that day, if you commented or shared, you got another three entries in this drawing. 
So, okay, lots of names. Can you hear them all? I'm shaking them all around. And let me make sure I have one slip of paper in my hand, and I do. And it's Philomena. Oh my gosh, let's see. You are very high. Ah, uh, haha. Okay, hi, Lori. Well, you know what? You know what I can do? Yeah, I'll move this. But Philomena, let's say congratulations to Philomena. If you can see that one. She's so good about commenting and sharing. So I'm excited because I think this is the first time you've won, Philomena. So I don't know if I have your address, Philomena. So if you will send me a private message or an email. So my email is Amy, A-M-Y, and then a period, and my last name, F-R-I-L-L-I-C-I -I -I at yahoo.com email me or send me a message on Facebook with your address and I will get these sent out to you. So congratulations. Okay, and you know what I'm gonna do? So you guys don't even wanna know like the rinky dink setup that I have here, but basically I'm gonna move a little something out of the way. So bear with me, this might be a little bit wiggly for a sec. And let's see there, if we move that. <laughs> that's cute, Philomena. She says, OMG, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And Tammy, that's very cute. Oh, your congratulations. So, yeah. Okay. So, yes, congratulations, Miss Philomena. And what do you, you guys want to know what we're going to draw for this week? So, I've been playing with lots of Valentine kind of stuff because you know that's going to be here before you know it, right? So, this is, and where's my catalog? Where? Oh, yeah, it's right here. I was gonna try to look up that it's a lovely lipstick ribbon. I don't know if there's a, an official name. It's part of the All My Love Ribbon Combo Pack. And it just says it's a lovely lipstick half inch ribbon that has a white stitched edge. Okay, let's see what are the comments. <laughs> oh, um, okay, I'll give it up, Wendy. I actually have my paper pumpkin boxes that kind of lift everything up and so I think I had four paper pumpkin boxes underneath there, and maybe I normally only have three, but I couldn't remember. I did this super, super late last night, so I just set everything up, and then, yeah, so now here I am. So yeah, I had to take one of the paper pumpkin boxes out, so yeah, someday I'll, I'll like take a picture of this rinky-dink setup. It works, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not very professional looking, probably, but I think that's honestly how probably most people's are. So, uh, okay, but back to our drawing. So this, can you guys see? So it's the lovely lipstick. I opened it so you can kind of see the detail. on. So it's like a white stitched edge. There, ooh, that glare. So yeah, this is what we're gonna draw for on next week's Facebook Live. One entry for commenting, three if you share today's Facebook Live video. Whoa, that glare is already really bad, isn't it? Maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll stand over here a little bit further. Um, three entries if you sign up for my email list, and then another three entries for that one random day that I pick if you comment and share. So you could win the lovely lipstick stitched, like a white stitched edge ribbon. And it, you're gonna see this later. I've got some projects to show you guys using that ribbon. So, okay, um, let's see what else, what else? Oh, I have to give a big shout out. Congratulations to Ms. Sharon Greening. She is one of our Inkspired Stampers, a part of my downline, and she just reached Bronze Elite in December. So any orders now starting in January that she puts in, Typically, when you buy the starter kit, you get 20% off of your orders. When you get to Bronze Elite at $1,800 in rolling 12-month sales, you get 25% off of all of your orders. So can you imagine saving 25% if you look at the price in the catalog and you only pay 75% of that, you get 25% off? That is pretty darn awesome, right? So congratulations, Miss Sharon. She gets that pay increase with the 25% off. And then I also love to reward um, anybody in my group for reading those milestones so she also gets a $50 shopping spree from me so Miss Sharon you have to let me know what you want I'm sure you have a long wish list from the new um, occasions catalog right so yes congratulations and you know what now would be a great time to talk about the starter kit deal because during celebration which just started yesterday I've already had people kind of asking me how does it work so let me kind of give you the rundown um, let's see I want to make sure that I don't mess anything up though. So I have my little, so now I can show you guys the inside. Wow, man. So that sun is beautiful, right? But okay, here, already my table's going for a little bit of a ride. There. Okay, we're gonna have to keep moving it probably today, but okay, so this is the celebration brochure, right? It's still a little bit of a glare, but on the inside, it tells you there's kind of a section that talks about shop, 
So that's basically if you spend 50 or $100, you get to pick a free item. There's host. So if you host a party or if you put a big order in, so um, basically orders starting at $250, normally you get 10% in host rewards, but right now, well, so 10% or $25, right, in host rewards. During celebration, they throw in another $25 for free with at least a $250 order. So if you wanna put a huge order in, $250 order, you're gonna get five free celebration items, and then you're also gonna get $50 in free host benefits. And that applies whether you're a demonstrator, whether you're a customer, if you get a group of orders together, doesn't matter what type of order it is, everybody qualifies for those extra host benefits during celebration. Here I am, I always get so off track. And then the next page is in our, whoa, man, that is bad, isn't it? Maybe I'll be in the glare. So the join section, and you can see there are two different options. I'm gonna tell you guys, so because I wanna make sure everybody understands how these work. So option number one is that you pick $175 in products. So whatever you want out of either the occasions or the annual catalog, right? Anything that you want and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. The other cool thing is that shipping fee that's normally 10% of your order is waived, okay? So, and then option number two, and I have to show you guys, okay? I have the super cute, this is the craft and carry tote. Ooh, now I'm like too close. Should I back up a little bit? So can you see, and I, I don't know why I was like, I love the tag as much as I love the bag even. So it's that really pretty, the 30th anniversary logo. And on the back, if I flip it, it'll be backwards, right? But it says Stampin' Up on there. So it's a super cute tag, tons of pockets. If you can see, there's a pocket here, another one here. There's a zipper pocket, two more pockets on this side. There's a whole long zipper guy in the back. And then I didn't put anything in it because I wanted to try to show you guys the inside. And it comes with a liner kind of a thing. So can you see all the pockets right here? And then this is actually removable. There's Velcro in here. So you, you can see there's a little strip of Velcro right there. So you can kind of move these partitions however you want. This is from the other angle. More um, pockets. So it is just a gorgeous bag. It's funny because someone was saying it's not too deep, but honestly, it's like the perfect height to put a um, pack of cardstock in. So hi, Sherilyn. How are you? I'm so glad you can join us. So yeah, if you buy the starter kit, this is the other option, option number two. Um, let's see, Wendy's saying, if we put an order in with you, do we have... Oh, yeah, Wendy, I... Um, let me send you a message about that. Um, what you're asking, have you, did you put an order in? I'm trying to remember. Send me an email if you wouldn't mind about that because I, my brain is like fried right now. I can't remember if you actually ordered through me or um, if you're asking if you want to order through me. So let me know. Um, email me, okay? Um, okay, so that bag, that's option number two. If you, you get to pick $175 in product, just like option number one, but you also get that craft and carry tote, which is valued at $50 and you pay only $129 for that $175 in product and then the bag too, okay? So those are both of the options. Um, it's funny because I remember somebody kind of, ugh, my shirt's bugging me. <laughs> um, somebody talking about this analogy that they gave. Um, no, if you do it this week, would it be in before class? Um, so today's Friday uh, for our Inkspired Stampers group gathering. Um, I think it should be, but I'd have to look at the calendar just to say for certain, because it's taking over a week to get orders here to me in Michigan. I know we're kind of got people all over the place, but and then actually had a problem with an order that was supposed to be here yesterday and there must have been severe somewhere between Salt Lake City and here. And so my package is delayed. Hopefully it's coming today, but I don't even know if it's gonna be here today. So I don't know, it's been kind of crazy with the holidays and weather, I guess. So maybe it would be here in time. So um, yeah, like I said, email me and we can talk about that rather than doing it on Facebook Live here. Um, Okay, so I'm losing my train of thought. Oh, because, okay, so back to that starter kit. I just wanted to kind of give you guys this analogy because I loved when somebody kind of said that they were telling their customers about this. So, you know, everybody loves Target, right? So imagine you walk into Target and one of the greeters says, hey, Amy, 
Do you want to walk around the store and look for $175 in product and pay only $99? Um, do you think you'd say yes? I mean, I love Target, right? Most of us love Target. So yeah, we'd probably say, uh, yeah, I think I'll go do that. Let me get my cart and go shop right now. And they're like, oh, but wait, actually gets better. If you do that, then actually we're gonna give you a coupon, a 20% off coupon. So every time you come to Target, you're gonna get 20% off of everything that you shop for every single time you shop as well. That is basically the same idea as the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. So when you think about it in those terms, I think it's this huge like win-win for everybody. Um, if anybody has any questions, the main thing people get concerned about is that quarterly minimum, which when you start in the middle of the quarter, which is right now, so we're already into the beginning of the first quarter, right? You actually, generally, you have to have sales of $300 each quarter. But when you start in the middle of the quarter, right now they waive kind of that first quarter. If you have sales, they'll count toward your $300 quarterly minimum, but the clock doesn't start ticking until April 1st. So you have from now, if you bought the starter kit today, you'd have from now until June 30th to put $300 in orders. And then basically what I say is like you renew your demonstrator status for another three months. So then you're good to go. You can order July, August, and September in third quarter. As long as you have $300 in sales, you renew your demonstrator status again for that fourth quarter put in sales of $300 in October, November, December, and then you've renewed it. So kind of every three months, as long as you have $300 in sales, other than this beginning of, you know, the very first time that you buy the starter kit, you get all those months in kind of the partial quarter plus three months in the full quarter. So yeah, it's awesome. So let me know if anybody has any questions. I will include the link um, if you want to buy the starter kit right now, you, you don't get celebration choices. That's the one thing I've had questions about that too. You pick $175 in product, pay only $99, no celebration choices in the starter kit. Then when you've put your first order in, and literally it generally takes like a couple minutes. You put your starter kit order in and you're going to get your email from Stampin' Up! with your demonstrator ID and they'll give you your information to log into Stampin' Up!, get yourself set up. Basically, it's like you know shopping online again. Put your name and address in and your credit card in so that you can shop. And then you could literally put another order in like five minutes after you buy the starter kit. And then that's when for every $50 you spend, you get a celebration item. Plus you get 20% off. So it's just a huge, huge savings. Honestly, if you love Stampin' Up! products and you see a bunch of stuff you want in the Occasions catalog, so like I said, I'll include the link. If you wanna sign up right now, just click on that link. It's super easy. If you need me to help you, I'm happy to do that. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, let's see, what is next? Oh, so let's do our other drawing for, let me get the names in there. I had a few online orders. Um, let's see, this one, remember last week I said we were gonna draw for the Hello Cupcake stamp set trying to keep it out of the glare, right? So this super cute celebration stamp set. If you put an online order in of at least $30, and I actually extended it, so it was from last Friday's Facebook Live all the way through Thursday night, because I cut it at Wednesday originally, and I'm like, oh, shoot, celebration starts Thursday, so people are probably gonna wait until Thursday to order, right? So I included um, any orders, online orders from Thursday also. So your name went in the drawing to win the Hello Cupcake stamp set. You also automatically get the um, cards that I demonstrated last week if you put that $30 order in and use the host code. So, okay, tossing these around, and again, let me make sure I've got one in here in my hand, and oh, it's Miss Tammy Mitchell. You were watching earlier, hope you're still on here. So congratulations, Tammy. You are the winner of the super cute new Hello Cupcake host stamp set. So very cool, I will get that sent out to you. And let's see, what else? You guys wanna know what we're gonna give away for this week? Let me make sure, am I on track? That's what we wanna talk about, right? Okay, yes, so okay, here we go. This is another really, really, really cute stamp set. This one is the So Hoppy Together. <laughs> These cute little dancing frogs. Oh, you are on, you're welcome, you're welcome, Tammy. Um, okay, so let's see, we've got, actually these are little teeny tiny bumblebees right there. This sentiment says, hey, with a little dot, dot, dot. 
There's a pretty um, little butterfly there. And then these silly little frogs that are so cute. We've got a couple of different frogs. Actually, yeah, three different ones. There's this little sentiment that says hoppy for you. And then there's a little crown to put on top of your froggy. And then a little you can do anything. So just a super cute, just a fun, whimsical, stamp set. So if you put an online order in this week, I have a new host code for January. I'm going to give that to you in just a little bit. It's also always at gatheringinspiration.com. If you can't remember or didn't write it down or whatever, just go to gatheringinspiration.com. Grab the um, host code. It's always on that right-hand side toolbar. Um, and then you get um, your name in the drawing to win the So Hoppy Together Celebration stamp set next Friday on Facebook Live. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a project, a super cute project that I made with that stamp set in just a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. So have you guys seen, I think I've been emailing, um, I'm not sure if the blog post has gone up yet or not. Um, but I'm going to do an occasions catalog paper share. So basically that means I looked at all of the paper in the occasions catalog and I'm going to buy like say one pack of each of them for four people because I'm going to divide it four ways. So you're going to get a quarter of a pack of each of the um, designer series papers in the occasions catalog. And it's, I think, let me verify. Where are my notes? Where are my notes? Um, yeah, it's only $24 to get a whole sample of every single sheet of designer series paper in our occasions catalog. Um, I'm going to show you the paper in just a sec, but while I'm thinking about it, um, I'm going to keep RSVPs open through Tuesday, January 29th. Um, if I get four people and you all really want it sooner, I'll get it cut and shipped out to you sooner because I know that kind of extends things a little while. I wanted to keep it open to kind of give everybody an opportunity to participate. Um, so generally, the ship date is Friday, February 8th. But like I said, if I have four people that say like right now they want to do it, I'll get it ordered and shipped out to you sooner because there is some kind of valentine -y paper in there that maybe you'd want to get a little bit sooner. So I don't want to hold anybody up on their projects. Um, so let me know if you're interested in the Occasions Catalog Paper Share. I'm going to show you the paper right now. We're going to try to do it. So let me actually keep my piece of paper here. I'm going to show you this one first of all. I can't remember if I've showed you this paper or not yet, but we're going to peek at it again in case I haven't showed you. So this is the Gingham Garden Designer Series paper. So I'm going to try. Let's see. What if I go? That side's better, isn't it? Okay. So can you guys see? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Here, let's just open it up. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll kind of fan it out. Okay. So that is one side of the paper. So kind of a bigger gingham kind of check. And then here is the other side, a little bit baby side. So I think there are 40 sheets in here. So you're going to get 10 sheets. So you get a couple of sheets of each of those colors. And that is again, the Gingham Gala designer series paper. Then this is, I kind of call it the Valentine paper. It's the all my love designer series paper. And I might even have more in here because I kind of have a couple packs that I've been pulling apart. Um, we're just going to kind of open this and see if I can fan this one out too. So you're going to get basically these come in, what do I want to say, 6 by 12 sheets. So that Gingham Gala, that was only 6 by 6, so I don't have to cut anything there. This, in order to get you a quarter of a pack of this paper, can you guys see? All of that beautiful, woohoo! So it is kind of Valentine-y because it's got some hearts, but then it's really pretty like floral too. So it doesn't have to be Valentine-y. I don't think if you don't need Valentine paper. Can you see the other side there too? So some floral, some Valentine-y. So basically, I get two sheets in in um, 12 by 12 designer series paper. I get two identical sheets. So this side and this side. So I'm going to cut them all in half. So you're going to get one 6 by 12 piece of each of the papers in the designer series paper pack. Okay. Um, I also have the Happiness Blooms designer series paper. So let me show you guys that one. I love this one because it's really super bright and bold. It kind of like really excited me when I opened this up and saw. So can you guys see? All the pretty paper in there. So again, you're going to get one 6 by 12 sheet. And then here's the back side. Oops. 
get those fanned out a little bit better. Um, one, I don't even know if you guys can see this very well, but it's so pretty. It's beautiful, I love. And then this, of course, coordinates with the Happiness Bloom stamp set too. You can see that pretty, right? So another pack of that. Um, what else? Oh, then I have the, I think I kept saying last week the crochet, but it's needlepoint. I don't really know the difference. Um, somebody probably can tell me that. I was calling everything like crochet stuff, but it's actually needlepoint. This is part of the needlepoint nook. And I think I've used, yeah, because we did a card last week with this paper. So I used some of it. So this isn't even all of it. These are only four of the six designs. So there's one half. And then if you, so if you don't want the super florally, then you've got some just really pretty bold colors and patterns there too. So that's that. And I think I've got, <laughs> here, I'll show you. These were like, the teeny tiny little strips that I have left of the others. So you remember, this is the one that I used on, man, that glare is awful. There we go, put it way up high. Um, that's the one I used on the card last week, and then there's the back side of that one. And then this one is super teeny tiny, but really pretty, and then with some kind of Highland Heather accents there. So those are the designs in the Needlepoint Nook designer series paper. Then I actually don't have some of this other paper yet, but the other one is the Floral Romance. And you can kind of see this beautiful suite on this side. And then if I can flip this open, the designer series paper is shown right here. And there's some really pretty vellum pieces too that, you know, so things kind of peek out from behind it. So that is gorgeous. And then this is another really fun, this how sweet it is suite of products if you can see those and then the designer series paper is over on that side i cannot wait i just ordered that one so i'll have that soon i'll be able to show you guys that one and then the last one is the classic garage <clears throat> and that's this sweet so kind of the manly suite in the catalog right and then can you see shoot that's like flipping it's hard to show in the catalog right so all of those patterns, I think it's 48 six by six sheets of that one too. Um, so you're gonna get 12 of those, okay? So most everything is 12 by 12, so you're gonna get six by 12 strips. Other than the Classic Garage and the Gingham Gala, those are six by six, so we obviously get six by six pieces of those. So again, it's only $24. Um, RSVPs are due by Tuesday, January 29th. I will ship everything out by Friday, February 8th. And if you want it sooner and I get four people, we can do that, okay? All right, so awesome, awesome paper packs. It's always so fun and inspiring to play with the new stuff, right? Um, one more quick reminder. Um, the What do I have? A couple of retreats that are coming up. So now that we've flipped the calendar to 2019, all of a sudden these things are going to come like... They'll be here before you know it, right? Because what we're already into January. So the spring crafting weekend, if anybody's interested in an awesome, like, bang out, you can just get a ton of stuff done. Friday, March 15th through Sunday, March 17th, it's in Lansing, um, Michigan. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. I can, I'm gonna post the registration link in the comments because um, I'm not going to go through all the details right now. But if you're interested at all, it's an awesome weekend. You just get a ton accomplished. And everyone's really, really nice, too. So it's like a fun group of ladies to hang out with. And then same idea, only it's the one-day crafting retreat. This is on Saturday, April 20th, right here in Alma, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, and it's another great day. You know, you don't have to commit, like, all weekend. Um, but this is another great day to get lots of stuff accomplished. And we just take care of you at both the weekend and the one-day retreats. We love to spoil you. We make food for everybody. Um, you know, we just take care of everything. So all you have to do is, like, play with all your crafting supplies, which isn't that awful, right? <laughs> okay. I think we are ready to flip the camera down. I'm trying to just look around and make sure, but are you guys ready? I'm gonna show you, I um, put my next class to go together and I wanna show you guys those right side up. So I'm gonna show you that stuff and then we will do some stamping, okay? So turn your heads away for a quick sec while we flip this camera. Okay, bear with me. Okay, flip glare all right let me give you guys the host code so this is the new host code for this month 
the CJF Vuvat, <laughs> G-U-V-A-T. I try to kind of, I try to memorize these. So those, that's someone's initials, CJF, right? And then Guvat, CJF, G-U-V-A-T. <laughs> I'll, I'll have it memorized soon. <laughs> okay, sorry, quick sip of water there. Um, and I wanted to find my grid paper too. There, okay, I've got that. All right, so you guys, um, where is it? Right here, okay. I'll get all my info over here. All right, is everybody doing okay? You guys are quiet on me now. So, okay, I told you I was working on Valentine projects. So this is the meant to be class to go, and I'm still working on my marketing, um, so I will have that done shortly. Well, honestly, it probably won't be till either Sunday night when I get home or Monday, um, but watch for the links and the YouTube video and all of that. But I'm gonna go through details on here so you guys know what's going on. And this table is going for another ride. That's not helping. Okay, one moment. <laughs> I love the sun, but man, is it annoying in the winter. There, okay, that's better. All right, so we have, I'm gonna try to pull these things out. This is the meant to be stamp set. And I love that this, I mean, there's kind of a Valentine flair here, but you could use, I mean, they've got some great sentiments for you know, really like for anniversary, wedding, um, you know, lots of different occasions really. So obviously that one's Happy Valentine's Day. This one says, I love our life together. So that'd be a great anniversary too. Meant to be, you make me happy. That'd be great anytime, right? Just for you is very generic. And then to the best friend a girl could ever ask for. And then with a bunch of really pretty detailed hearts. So beautiful stamp set, right? And then, honestly, the total star of the show is these Be Mine Stitched Framelits dies. And I'm trying to remember. What card did we? No, we didn't use these last week. Okay. I was trying to remember if I even had showed you guys these. There, I think, are like 19 dies in here. It is insane how many dies that we have. So if you can see, there are some scallop edges, some stitching, some kind of big, medium, small, some other little detail. Super cute little hearts. I have to show you guys. These are the hearts that get cut out. I put it on that just so you could kind of see. I, I ended up not using this on a project, but I was so curious I had to run it and see what it looked like. So that does that right there. And what I thought would be fun, obviously when you cut this out, it cuts a bunch of those little hearts and they all pop out. So you could like put those on the inside of the card so when someone opens it, they all kind of trickle out on them. I think that'd be kind of fun, right? So that's one of them. And then, so that's only half of the frameworks. Then there's a whole another sheet right here too with just a different shape heart with the stitching. It's a really pretty rose. Um, this is a cute little, oops, let me get that in the view, scallop edge. Um, and then just some more detail. And then I have to show you because I cut this one out also. If you can see, look at the detail. Can you guys see that on that guy? Maybe you can't, I don't know. Can you see it very well? But so it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, so like scrolly detailed. So very pretty. So yeah, the dies are awesome. And I think, again, these would be great for wedding, for anniversary. Yes, for Mother's Day too. That is absolutely right, Philomena. Yes, perfect idea. So lots of uses for these beyond Valentine's Day. So don't let that, like, oh, if you don't think you need Valentine's stuff, these, even these cards, you could kind of change up a little bit if you didn't want them to literally say Happy Valentine's Day. But okay, so what else? Um, why don't let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you about the different options that are available. So we, I actually did a couple of different kind of fun things. So there's this beautiful, so can you see? This is the kind of fun how it cuts out that little kind of edge, right? So there's one with the stitching and then another little outline detailed with the scallop edging, the beautiful heart, and then some of the that really pretty flower also, right? And then here is some of that ribbon that we're gonna give away next week, okay? So you'd make two of this project. And again, you could say just for you or meant to be or put a different sentiment altogether if you don't wanna do Happy Valentine's Day, right? So there's one of the projects. Then, okay, let me show you. This is a super cute, you're gonna make two of these. I love like these little baby cards. Sometimes you don't need like a huge 
card, you just wanna add a little something, maybe with your chocolate or whatever. And this one says, you make me happy, with more of that really pretty detail, um, like a fun border right there. And then I had to decorate the envelope too. So on the flap, I put a little bit of the designer series paper that coordinates with that little outline that we put on there. And then, did I stamp on the inside? Oh, I was thinking about it. You could put Happy Valentine's Day inside there. I know, I stamped a little heart on that envelope too. So you'd make two of those with the envelopes. Then we have another fun card with the beautiful designer series paper, more of the pretty ribbon, and then um, the just for you with more of those detailed, and I love this little baby. Can you see that little heart? With those, um, what are those? The Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots, we use those, and those are included in the class as well. And then last one, I think I showed you guys last week the video that I made um, on one of the other. This is the same idea, same little Valentine treat box. This one I decided to use because if you can see in here, there's some bashful blue flowers in there, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something a little not totally traditional with the bashful blue um, ribbon, celebration ribbon, and then the cardstock. And then this is the one where the belly band that just slips off. And I don't have anything inside here, but I have said Ghirardelli chocolates fit perfect inside there, or a little Reese's peanut butter cup, whatever you would like to add inside. And you would make two of these little treat boxes as well, okay? So those are the four projects. The ink that you need for the to-go kit is Lovely Lipstick, uh, flirty Flamingo and Soft Sea Foam. So just three ink pads, so that's kind of handy too. These things are all sliding all over the place. So let me tell you about the different options that are available. Um, and then those are the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots too. Okay, so option number one, you get the bundle, the Meant to Be stamp set, the Be Mine Stitched Framelits, and a pack of the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots because we used a bunch of those on our projects. Hi Rosa, how are you? Um, plus you get the PDF tutorial and you also get a free celebration choice. So option number one is $81, okay? Because you get this huge Mac Daddy bundle in there. Option number two is if you just want the stamp set, you don't want the framelits, and you get the um, Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots and the PDF tutorial, option number two is $47, okay? Option number three is if you already have the meant to be stamp set, make sure you have that because I can't do your stamping for you. Um, we will do the die cutting if you don't get the framelits. Um, but option number three is just the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots and then all four projects, two of each of them, so eight total, plus the PDF tutorial. Option number three is $28. Now option number one, two, and three, if you need them shipped to you, that's an additional $7 shipping fee. Um, option number four is the PDF tutorial only. That is available anytime. As soon as I get the link up, you can order that. Even after the RSVP deadline, you can still get that um, PDF tutorial for $15. And then the last is option number five. This is always the option for my downline. You can get all the parts and pieces for the make and takes. Um, so two of each of them for cost, which is basically just $12. I love to do that. That's a great perk. For my downline, you can use these cards in your own classes or just for your own fun. Um, yeah, so that's option number five for $15. Registration ends for the meant to be class to go on Wednesday, January 23rd, and the expected shipping date of all of the kits is Friday, February 1st. So as soon as I have the marketing all done, I will put that link out there so um, you can register for that class to go. Let me know if you have any questions on that. I think these are just gorgeous. I love all of the stitching and the detail on those projects. Okay, we are ready to do our stamping. Okay, so there's my host code. I'm gonna keep that so you guys can kind of see. All right, one more sec. We're moving this a little bit more. That sun keeps moving on me. Maybe if I do that, that'll be enough, right? Okay, <clears throat> which one, I always do this, which one do I wanna do first? Well, I think kind of in conjunction with the meant to be class to go, let me show you. I think I've posted this card, so it was maybe not quite a huge surprise, um, but here we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys all of the fun and detail that you can create with that meant to be stamp set and the Be Mine stitched framelits, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this Valentine's Day card, okay? Um, so I'm get all my parts and pieces. 
I actually need a bunch of stuff from that to-go kit too. So let me grab those out of there. Okay. Trying to make sure I have what I need. Okay. There, I know I need that lovely lipstick ink pad and then those framelits. So, okay. I'm gonna tell you guys, cause I forgot measurements on one of the cards last week or parts of them. So this one is super simple, a, a sheet of lovely lipstick cardstock that measures the eight and a half by 11. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half, right? And then we scored it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then the only other sheet that you really need measurements for is this whisper white piece that goes right on the front. And that is kind of my standard layer at four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then, let's see, we're gonna scoot that one out of the way. So we need, we're gonna use, can you guys see? I'll show you. So there's a little stitching and then that super cute little baby scallop edge. That is one of the framelits that we are gonna use along the kind of bottom edge of that whisper white piece. So that's gonna go on there when we run that through the big shot. Then we also need, I have some of our silver glimmer paper that we are gonna use that framelit right there. And this is kind of fun, guys. So this one right here, it does kind of two in one and it's a little bit hard to see on the designer series paper, but it, it makes a little stitched edge inside there. And then it also cuts out that piece. So for example, this framelit, cut both of those pink pieces. This one will be cut and then there'll be another red one that I used on other projects. So that's kind of a fun, you get lots of things out of that one. So the only thing we need to stamp is that little heart right there, okay? So we're gonna grab our lovely lipstick ink pad and our cute little kind of striped heart. Press straight down and straight up and he's all set. Actually, we do need, ooh, I forgot that other little stamp too. I bet I have it. I'm gonna run and grab that. I was looking at, I'm gonna stamp this later, but I have my Happy Valentine's Day, but I forgot to bring that little baby heart over here and I want him. So I'll, I'll go get him in a sec. Let's do our die cutting. We can do all of our die cutting. So this is gonna take a sec because we have to crank a number of things through the big shot here. So let me grab my big shot. And, okay, so we got that one in view, right? Let me scoot that up a little bit more so you can see it. Okay, so with our magnetic platform, let's see, we'll do our silver glimmer paper. We'll fit as many on here as we can. And then our little baby heart. And this magnetic platform has been like futzy for me. Like every time I put my paper down, it wants to move things. And then we are just gonna actually kinda tear this off. So with our little heart designer series paper, we're gonna cut one of these right now. Okay, let's make sure that's the only one that needs to be kinda precise. So I gotta make sure, that's probably good enough. Okay, so we're gonna run these guys. And I'm gonna go back and forth here, so I apologize if it wiggles. That always helps me to get things cut well. Okay, so there's our little silver glimmer heart, right? And, okay, this is the one I wanted to show you. So do you see how this pops that guy out? But then there's also a detailed little kind of outline piece. And I'm just gonna use my little paper piercing tool. And this just pops out super easily. There we go. I'm gonna say maybe not quite as easily when I'm doing it live, right? So just be a little bit careful when you pull that guy out. And then there is that little stitched edge. Well, it's got stitching and then scallops. So lots and lots of detail on that one. We're gonna put those there. So then we need another one of these on our red designer series, or not red, it's lovely lipstick. There we go. And that, isn't that being so funny? I guess it doesn't really matter if that one is a little bit off. And then I have to show you guys this one too. So can you see again, <laughs> the stitching and the scallops. 
So cute. All right, so we've got all of those. And, oh, then we need this white piece too. Let's see. <laughs> Trying to see. Maybe if I scoot this one down there, I think that might work. So let's pop. Trying to do, you know, so we don't have to crank this through too many times. This one I put all the way down along the bottom. And then we're going to put that guy right there. I think that's going to work. Okay. So as long as that is straight, which I think it is, I'm going to cut one more heart. Okay. So here we go. We are cranking the handle. And I'm going to go back through it the other way just to make sure that everything cut well. Okay. So again, this one, we have our heart there. Oh, Bonnie, you love the die cuts. Me too. And then I'm not even going to worry about, but here's another scallop edge. This is the one that I was saying I'll use on something else. So I'll worry about popping that out later. So there's our heart. And then let's see how did this guy do. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that super cute little edge. So, 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 so cute. Okay. Keep that there. I'm trying to keep my framelits from like disappearing. Okay. I think, oh, the only other thing I have already cut, you guys don't need to see me. This is just a lovely lipstick, red, well, heart, right? It's the same as that one. So I would have used that dye a third time. And then it also created a little outside edge that I, of course, used on other things. So, or maybe it was vice versa. Maybe I used the outline edge and I had a bunch of those hearts left. I think that's how that worked. That's how it ended up on this card. So, okay, I think we're done with the big shot. So I'm gonna scoop this guy out of the way. And we are about ready. Now I want to go get my little, that little heart. So I'm going to go grab that stamp. I think I know right where it is. So give me one sec. I'll be right back. So I just have to have that little heart because you might not be able to tell, but I put one of those little um, heart epoxy droplets on it, on top of it after I stamped it. So we have our happy Valentine's Day and then that cute little heart we're going to put right there. And that's the one that I put a little heart epoxy droplet right on top of it. We're going to do that at the end though. I'm going to let that kind of sit for a sec. Okay, now I want my little silicone craft sheet and I need some dimensionals. Oh, let's, let's see. Okay, I've got, let's see, I've got a few comments. I was trying to see what I missed. Oh, that Sandra says you love the edge and yes, it is so easy to make. Anything with stitching and then those cute little baby scallops, I kind of can't like live without. <laughs> and yes, the framelits are very, very versatile. Miss Philomena, you are right about that. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of dimensionals behind that guy and behind that one and behind that guy. Then the reason why I pulled this little baby out is because, and where did my, okay, yep, I'm good. This little guy is the one. When I put my snail on here, I like to use my silicone craft sheet because then I can just kind of run my snail all over the place. And it sticks kind of on here, but not on my work paper. And then we want this one here too. So the big thing is going to be like kind of lining these up. So I'm going to try to have this kind of right in front of me here. So I'm going to put that one maybe right about there. Then this little guy I'm going to put right about there. Maybe I won't press too hard. Where'd my other stuff go? Oh, they're all flipped over. <laughs> so I can't tell what colors are what. So that, I'm not going to put that on there yet because I want to make sure. That one is good. That one is good. And then we're going to put this guy. I think we're all right. You know, sometimes I worry that I might not quite like how I've placed things, but I think that's good, right? We are going to peel these dimensionals off of here. Pop that one. So right inside there. I love how that kind of floats up on top. I guess now I do want to press a little bit harder. And then one more, this little guy right here. We are going to put that there. And then one more, the little baby with the little detail. So cute, right? And then that one can go there. There. All right. 
So that was pretty simple, wasn't it? It's funny because there's, I mean, there's a lot of detail, but once you kind of know what you're doing there, not a big deal. Okay, so here is our card base. We're gonna just put this whole layer right on here. Oops, it kind of stuck to my finger. And then we have just a little bit more embellishing we're gonna do on here. Okay, so this is some of the Flirty Flamingo ribbon. Super just kind of thin, dainty, very pretty, very easy to tie a bow, which is what we're gonna do with this. So we're gonna put this guy right on our card. And this one, because he's so thin, I actually just ran a little bit of snail. Oh, it doesn't want to run for me. Oh, isn't that funny? Sometimes that happens, right? Where it just doesn't want to... There we go. I just have like kind of a little line of it, and then I'm actually kind of pushing my finger to make it in a little bit more of a line, because the glue dots would be too big. Um, they would stick out too much on there. Um, I don't need that much adhesive because that's such a fine, dainty ribbon. And then these are the heart epoxy droplets. And, oh, bummer, I forgot my take your pick tool. I'm going to use my paper snips. This is the other thing I use when I forget. So there is a glue dot underneath there. I'm going to pick that up. And I am just going to lay him right on that heart that I stamped. And then, can you kind of see? It's almost like you put... Back in the day, we had that, why can't I think of it now? But you can use the fine tip glue pen. Um, gosh, what was that stuff? I can't remember, but it was another really kind of goopy adhesive. <laughs> Isn't that a great technical term? Anyway, it was great to kind of do that, give that look to things. So there is our first project. So hopefully that helps you fall in love with the meant to be stamp set and the Be Mine stitched framelits and then course you're going to need that to go kit right um yeah so 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 cute okay so let's scoot these guys out of the way and I'm going to show you my next project let's see get everything cleared out here okay and okay one more so this one you guys I have to show you first in the so this is the celebration crystal yes that's what it was yeah Crystal Effects, that was the name of it. Yes, thank you. I knew, yeah, the goopy glue, right? Crystal Effects. So, okay, where was that? Did I already flip past it? Maybe it was on, yeah, on the very first page. So have you guys checked out? Their, um, Stampin' Up! always does a really nice job of giving us um, images from the catalogs to share online. So I've been doing that. And this is one that totally caught my eye. So I was like, okay, I want to make that super cute little card right there. So that I'm basically casing it straight out, out of our celebration brochure. But I think everybody loves that little um, froggy guy so much that you're going to enjoy this card. So mine is a, um, a little bit of a different take on it because I did not have that embossing folder yet so i used this one was the climbing vine which i think worked really well on this card also but how stinking cute is this right so let me show you it features that so hoppy together stamp set this is the stamp set that when you put that fifty dollar order in your name goes or thirty dollar the thirty dollar order when you use the host code your name goes in the drawing to win this stamp set right so i had to show you guys a cute project using that stamp set because i just, oh my gosh, so, so fun. All right, so let's see. We get everything out here. Let's scoot those there. We're gonna do a little bit of coloring too. Haven't done that in a little while. And it was actually really fun to do. Okay. So we have all our parts and pieces. I'm gonna give you measurements before I forget. So this is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. I have too many things out here, right? That, so the eight and a half by 11, cut in half at five and a half inches, scored in half at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have a piece, this is some of the Gingham Gala designer series paper in um, the Daffodil Delight, so kind of big gingham and little gingham, right? We're gonna use the little gingham this time. This piece measures three inches by four and a half inches. Okay, and then we have a piece of, this is lemon lime twist cardstock. This one measures two and a half by four and a half inches. 
And then the others are just kind of scraps. There is, oh, this is what I need. This is the Bashful Blue cardstock. And this one measures three quarters by four and a half inches. And, oh, okay, so I need the, oh, I have to tell you guys, this was super late when I was doing this stuff. So I need to go grab my banner triple punch because I need, I need that to punch this. So let me go, sorry guys, one more sec, I'll be right back. Okay, here I go. You knew how late I was up. <laughs> it's that whole trying to be gone all weekend. I'm, you know, I work a lot on the weekends when I can, and being gone all day Saturday and all day Sunday, there was a lot to do to be able to make that happen. Okay, so we're just punching the ends with our banner triple bunch. Um, what? Oh, did I say? Did I say bashful blue? Sorry, Sandra, you caught me. This is balmy blue, balmy blue cardstock. Not bashful blue is one I think we used to have that retired. So now that is balmy blue cardstock. Okay. So all right, there's that punch. Um, let's see. Why don't let's do our embossing next? Because then we can do our. No, you know what? I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna stamp my little frog right on here because I want it to just sit for a second before I start coloring on him. Okay, so I've got my black memento ink with my little froggy, got him there. And then I have to give him a crown because he's cute. Put that one right there, okay? Oops. And then while we're doing our stamping, we might as well stamp our little, the so, or it's hoppy for you, not so hoppy for you. Hoppy for you, this is in Garden green ink. We're just gonna press right down. Oops, it's upside down, but that's okay. So that teeny, 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 tiny, the hoppy for you. You're welcome, Sandra. Sorry, I was confused. I'm glad you're on top of things. Someone needs to be, right? Okay, so let's do our embossing of this. This is garden green. Did I say that already? Garden? No, this is not. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I, I was almost going to make it through without making a million stakes, mistakes, but this is lemon lime twist. Okay. So even though we're using the guard or granny apple green card or ink pad, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we're going to use lemon lime twist cardstock um, on that piece right there. Okay. So here we go. We have our big shot. I should probably just stop talking. You guys probably know. I will include the details <laughs> for all of this too. I'm gonna get the blog post um, finished and it'll be uploaded tomorrow on gatheringinspiration.com and I'll give you names of, like correct names of cardstock, right? I'll give you item codes, everything you need to know about how to make these projects. And what is, <laughs> there you go, Sandra. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was just testing to make sure everybody's paying attention. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, seriously. Yeah, that's going to be my excuse. I like that idea. Okay, so this is cute because I haven't really used, oops, that's kind of backwards. There we go. I hadn't really used this embossing folder much yet, so I was kind of happy to get a chance to play with that one. Okay, yes, the climbing vine embossing folder. Okay, now, okay, let's get our little, our little frog back out, and we are going to do some coloring. I found, so we're going to do a little bit inside his mouth with a light. Ooh, I need my glasses. I'm gonna put these on real quick. This'll help me to be able to color. So we're gonna just use our light Smoky Slate Stamp and Blend right inside there. Okay, so just inside his mouth. And that helped because then I used my, this is my light Granny Apple Green I'm gonna just go around his little eyeballs because I wanna keep his eyes white and I'm just gonna color everything else in. And what I was starting to say was then if I kinda of went outside the lines with this green, I have already colored with my smoky slate. So that was helpful. Like I said, if I smudged over his mouth a little bit, no big deal because I had already put the gray on there. So maybe it would just blend a little bit, the green with the gray, but I didn't notice. 
that being a problem at all. And I'm gonna color. So I use the fat tip there for most of it now. For his kind of arms and legs, I want to use my skinny tip. And then I actually kind of went over everything just to darken it up a little bit because when I first did this, I thought he's not like a dark enough green. So we'll do that at the end, okay? So again, this is still the light Granny Apple Green marker. I'm just using the kind of fine tip. And now I'm gonna kind of go over all of him and darken him up just a little bit. And I love, it's so fun how you kind of see the streaks when I'm making those circles, but then they just kind of magically disappear as they're blended in. So cool. Okay, so he's a little bit darker. I like his color a little bit more. Now we are gonna use our dark Granny Apple Green on his little dots. We're gonna darken those guys up. And then on his belly too, I wanna to darken up his belly just a little bit. It's like there's a little bit of a shadow where his pudgy belly is, right? Okay, and then last step. Let's see, well, should I turn that back around? We're gonna use our, this is the dark Daffodil Delight. I couldn't remember if it was light or dark and I didn't have both of them. So we're gonna use the dark Daffodil Delight marker to color in his crown. We're gonna use that fine tip because I already see I might've gone out of the lines a little bit, but you guys from this distance cannot even see that, I'm sure. Okay, done with the glasses, gonna take those off. All right, this is my two inch circle punch. I'm just gonna punch that little baby out. And remember that these things bleed through, the blends do, so you want to make sure that you have something underneath where you're coloring so that it doesn't bleed onto your good, like wood dining table. Sorry, I just kinda hit that. Oh, <laughs> Philomena says, don't fret, it's a fun time for all. Okay, good, I'm glad that you are enjoying it, Philomena, because boy, I was having a few moments there. Hi, Sandy, how are you? We're just making the cute little um, hoppy for you card. Okay, and then the other thing that we need is the three quarter inch circle punch, and oh, please don't let me lose this little guy. We're gonna punch out the little hoppy for you, and we're gonna actually scoop both of these up out of the way so we don't lose anything. I think that we are ready to put our card together. So we have that Daffodil Delight Kingdom Gala designer series paper. There's something going on with my snail, I think. You know, every once in a while that happens where they kind of run funny. Okay, so this one just kind of gets centered right in the middle of the card. All right, I think that looks good. Now, this is the one I always like to add a bunch of adhesive around all of the edges because it has all the embossing on it. And we're just gonna pop that guy maybe right up, oh, right about there, right? Then, let's see, what did I do next? I did this one, so we're gonna add him. Is he on there with dimensionals? I gotta peek. Yes, he is. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals behind that little strip. And those were buried, but I just found them, so that's good. Okay, I put a couple of dimensionals on that little guy. Okay, we're gonna put him maybe, kind of a little bit of an angle right about there. Then I had just already, um, I had like a little extra strip. This is the balmy blue, not the bashful blue, right, Sandra? Um, organdy ribbon from the Celebration catalog. So you get this ribbon. Oh, I was going to show you guys all the other colors. Oh, I have them right here. Look at that. Hmm. I pulled them out. So can you guys see all the pretty colors that you can, oops, the yellow's kind of, my purple is open, so it's covering up the yellow one there. All right, let's see if I can move that. Well, here, we'll just pull them all out so you guys can see. So these are all of the, looks like Easter spring fun, doesn't it, right? So these are all of the, um, celebration ribbon so balmy blue hmm is that granny apple green that might be lemon lime twist daffodil delight um grapefruit grove and highland heather i think i could be totally wrong on those colors but anyway they're beautiful gorgeous you get all five bolts five yards of each with a 50 dollars order so can't 
be that, right? Okay, so I used a little bit of our balmy blue. I'm just gonna kind of put some adhesive and I'm gonna kind of lay that kind of, I want that just over a little bit. It might be a little bit long, so I'm gonna trim that off. Okay, do that, there we go, okay. Now what do we need? Oh, now we need to put, and I'm gonna to try to strategically put um, dimensionals kind of on the top and bottom, which actually that's kind of handy that it bled through there, isn't it? Because then you can see where you can put those and then that should fit right over, because I don't want it popping up too much, but I'm gonna put that guy right there. And then one more, actually this one, my little trick for this was to actually, who shoot, did I bump? I took one of our little mini dimensionals and I just kind of put it up here in the corner. I thought it was easier to just put this right on my card. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. And then we're gonna just add some adhesive kind of on that. So the little hoppy for you can go right there and then it's, it's popped up a little bit on that dimensional too. So how about that? Isn't he so cute? This is the little, all these little images the in the, so hoppy together. I think they're just gonna make you smile. It's kind of like that chicken stamp set that we had a few years ago. Now we've got frogs this time. So <laughs> they're just so fun and happy and cute, right? So don't forget, all right, let me clear this stuff out of the way a little bit. Boy, do I make a mess. <laughs> Anybody that wants to come over and help me clean up, <laughs> let me know, all right? <laughs> my kids come home from school and they're like, oh my gosh, what happened in here? Most Fridays. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. To review, right? With celebration, so much good stuff. Okay, you, if you put an online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you are going to get both of these projects that I demonstrated today, right? Make sure you use the host code, the CJF Guvat, right? Your name also goes in the drawing to win the So Hoppy Together stamp set. And then this is the best part right now. If you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me. And then right now, you're going to get a free celebration item too. So, <laughs> you'll be right over to help. I wish you could, Sandra. <laughs> that would be lovely. And thank you, Philomena. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed those projects. So thank you guys so much for watching me today. I hope you were inspired today. I forget to say that sometimes. I do that at the end of all my blog posts because I think it's kind of fun. So anyway, yeah, I just hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, and we will see you next Friday. And happy stamping this weekend. See you guys soon. Bye, everybody.